Hiya, yeah, welcome to episode 3 of Johnny Talks. The title of this video is called The Quality My Airs. In Ireland, we're led to believe that we are an equal country. Hello Aidan. Hello Aidan Denston. How are you man? Welcome to episode 3 of Johnny Talks. Johnny Talks is a a little bit different to Green Herb Gaming, to say the least. Johnny Talks is where I talk <laughs> about uh, the real life and the serious things that are happening in the real life. And I plan on bringing back free speech. Glad for that, man. Glad for that. I plan on bringing back free speech with Johnny Talks in a sensible, respectful and an intelligent way. and talk about stuff that some people just don't want to hear really to be quite honest with you or talk about it some people quite simply just don't have the balls to talk about because of the politically correct world that we live in because of the censored world that we live in because of the easily offended snowflake world that we live in some people are just afraid to say what I'm gonna say in Johnny Talks so this is it of the video is the quality my arse so in Ireland, we are led to believe we are led to believe that we are in an equal country. You should start doing live streams called Johnny's uh, Therapy, where people talk about their problems with you. That's not a bad idea, actually, Aiden. That's not a bad idea. I quite like that idea, actually. Got to take that on board. Thank you, Aiden. So. In Ireland, we are led to believe that we are living in an equal country. Now, what is equal? Equal is the same as. In fact, I will literally... I will literally look up the definition of equality for everyone. So, uh, for anybody who doesn't know, I, I live in Ireland. And as I said, in Ireland, we're... We're led to believe that we live in an equal country. Everybody in Ireland is equal. So I'm going to look at the definition of equality and I'm going to read it out to you. The state of being equal, especially in status, rights or opportunities. Very interesting. Opportunities. Hmm. An organization aiming to promote racial equality, uh, fairness, oh, justness. Uh, equality, impartiality, even handedness, uh, equal rights, equal opportunities, non discrimination. Non discrimination. Really? So, would I be not discriminated if I said I was a Donald Trump supporter? Would I not be discriminated against if I said I was against? Abortion. Would I not be discriminated against if I practiced my faith? Would I not be discriminated against if I was a practicing Catholic and my religious beliefs believed that marriage was sacred and that marriage was between a man and a woman and I was against gay marriage? Would I not be discriminated against for those religious beliefs? Yeah, right I wouldn't. Of course I'd be discriminated. Because we don't live in an equal country. There is no equality. And for the remainder of this video I'm going to point out why I firmly believe that we are a long, 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 long way away from having true equality here in Ireland. So I've just literally called out the definition of equality. And one of those definitions is non discrimination. Non discrimination. That is what equality is. Yet if I was in a room of 10 people and I said I support Donald Trump, I would be discriminated against by 90% 
of those people. If I said that I was against abortion, I would be discriminated against by 90% of those people. If I had religious beliefs and religious views against gay marriage, I would be discriminated against. So where, DLA, hello to you man, hello to you, welcome to episode 3 of Johnny Talks, great to have you here and music man, great to see my supporters transitioning from Green Herb Gaming to uh, Johnny Talks. So one of the definitions of equality is non-discrimination, and as I clearly pointed out, if I was in a room and I said I supported Donald Trump, I was against gay marriage. Sorry, I, if I was yeah, if I was against abortion, and if I was a supporter of Donald Trump, and if I if my religious beliefs were against gay marriage, I would be discriminated against. So where is the equality, huh? And as far as equal opportunities is concerned, equal opportunities, really. Does that homeless man, does that homeless man lying on a concrete floor, sleeping on a concrete floor, sleeping rough, dirty clothes, run down, unhealthy, hungry, cold, homeless, does that man have equal opportunities to a corrupt banker or a corrupt businessman or a corrupt landlord who has taken all the money illegally a lot of the times and buying himself a third car and a second home in Spain while that homeless man has to lie cold, hungry and unhealthy on a concrete floor. Is that equal? Is that equality? Do, do those two people have equal opportunities? No, they do not. And the LGBTQ, I don't know what the Q stands for, writing in new letters every day of the week. It's like Sesame Street at this stage. What would be the next letter? That would be another video. For another day. Okay, the LGBTQ community would have you believe that they're all about equality, that they're all about celebrating everybody's sexuality. Lesbian, gay, bisexual, transsexual, and I have no idea what the Q stands for. The LGBT commu LGBTQ community would have you believe that we're all equal. All our sexualities are equal. Let's celebrate everyone's sexuality. What about asexuals? Does anybody know what an asexual is? An asexual is somebody who has sexually, who, who is not sexually attracted to anybody. There's this kid in school who gets bullied because he is boy. Well, he shouldn't be bullied because he's boy. He should not be bullied. Um, but what about an asexual? What about an asexual person? An asexual is somebody who is not sexually attracted to anybody. What about heterosexual? What about a straight person? What about somebody who just happens to be straight, who just happens to love um, the opposite sex? Where is their equality? Where is their, where, where is their opportunity to march in the streets and parade, and have a parade and celebrate who they are as a person? Where is their parade? This is not the 1950s. It is not illegal to be gay. It is not illegal to be bisexual. Bisexuals, gays, lesbians, transgender, they can all get married, they can all work and they can all live in society. It's not the 1950s. So, like, these parades are not fighting for the rights of these people anymore. It's celebrating their sexuality. So, why not celebrate an asexual? Why not celebrate a heterosexual? The, v the very fact that the LGBTQ Q community do not include heterosexual and asexual proves by definition that they're actually not about equality. Because they're 
dividing themselves from heterosexual sexuals and asexuals. So I don't see any equality within the LGBTQ community. I don't see any equality whatsoever. I see unequality. Because you mentioned there, DLA, about a boy in your school gets bullied for being boy. He shouldn't be bullied. And just for the record, I am not homophobic. I am not against the LGBT community. I'm just calling them out in one specific area. And that is equality. Equality in my ass. If you're going to be an equal organisation, then include heterosexuals and include asexuals. And I'm sure there's 90% of the people watching this don't even, know, don't even know what an asexual is. It's a person who is not sexually attracted to anybody. What about that person? I would presume that person would get bullied a lot throughout their life. Who's fighting for their rights? Hmm? Where's the parade in the city for them? So that's enough about the LGBTQ community. Um, what about... I think I pretty much said everything I needed to say, really. Um, no, it's not that it's that people should shouldn't get bullied. They should not. People should not get bullied of their sexuality. One hundred percent. Nobody should be bullied because of their sexuality, regardless of what it is. So I would love to see the LGBTQ community be real equal and show so, show real equality and include people who are asexual and heterosexual people let's celebrate everybody's sexuality so I would love to see the LGBTQ community show true equality by including heterosexuals and asexuals in their branding and in these parades that they hold uh, the bullies are that sad so they have to pick I know, man, I know, but 100%, which is why I believe that people who are asexual, people who have no sexual attraction to anybody, I believe that they should not be bullied, and I believe that it's, it is out of order that they're being bullied, and they shouldn't be bullied, and an asexual should be included in the LGBTQ community, and they should have the opportunity to celebrate and parade their sexuality like everyone else has. People don't uh, pick on, pick out because they are happy saying it in the own world and don't care. Yeah, I agree. So this, the title of this video is Equality My Arse. Because in Ireland, we are led to believe that we have equality. I don't believe that we have true equality. And the very fact that the LGBTQ community do not include heterosexuals and asexuals is proof and evidence of that. I believe they're singling out heterosexuals, they're singling out, leaving out actually, heterosexuals and asexuals. Again, an, asex an asexual is a person who is not sexually attracted to anybody. Imagine how hard that would be for a young person growing up and how they would be bullied. So where is their rights? Can you see my point, DLA, a music man? So I'm calling for true equality. Equal opportunities, non-discrimination. Uh, non Again, I, I do have a habit of repeating myself. I've got to work on that uh, throughout the remainder of Johnny Talks. But again, if I'm in a room of 10 people and I say, I'm a supporter of Donald Trump. I'm very suspicious about um, activist Muslims. I'm very suspicious about who comes into the country. Um, I'm against abortion and my religious beliefs are against gay marriage. If I said that in a room of 10 people, I would be discriminated against. I know people who have been blocked on social media because they support Donald Trump. I know people who have been blocked on social media because they're against abortion. And God knows there's people out there who have been blocked because of their views on extremist Muslims and uh, border control. So where is... Where is the non-discrimination there? See, discrimination works both ways. You can discriminate against somebody because of their religion, but you can also discriminate against somebody because of their political views, because of their religious views as well. It works both ways. See, that's what people don't seem to realize about equality. It works both ways. You can't just have equality for a select few. You can't just have equality 
for the LGBT community. You can't just have equality for feminism. You can't just have equality uh, for um, for you know one group of people within the community. You've got to have equality for everybody. Again, what about that homeless man who was cold, hungry, dirty, sleeping on a concrete floor? What about him? compared to regardless of how we got there okay regardless of how we got there right and compare that person to a greedy corrupt politician or banker who's making tons of money out of the misfortunes of other because we know about corruption we 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 know well about it in Ireland uh, we know well about you know the corruption among bankers and politicians who you know, who sh who've had money that they shouldn't have had and they're able to buy a third car and a fourth house and live it up while the rest of the, you know, country suffers. And I'm talking about the most extreme case here, of, you know, sleeping rough, but, you know, you've got, like, young college students who are desperately trying to get accommodation uh, and they're struggling. So where is, where is the equal opportunities there? Because that's one of the definitions of uh, equality, is um, equal rights and equal opportunities. Um, I live in a particular, uh, I would say, the area I live in, there's a lot of anti-social uh, behaviour in the area I live in. It's a well-known fact, a well-known fact, and people can say what they want, it's a well-known fact that if I put the area that I live in on my CV, a lot of employees will not employ me because they will discriminate me and say, well, he's from that area, I'm not going to employ him. Or if I was, you know, scruffy looking, if I had tattoos or whatever, although they're a little bit kind of, they're a little bit kind of um, okay now with that kind of stuff. But that's, you know, not employing somebody because of where they live and because of how they look, that's a, that's a inequality right there. So where is the equality? Equality, my arse. Ireland has a long, long way to go before it gains true equality. So I'm going to run down each of the examples I gave. I probably left out other examples. They'll probably come back to me, um, maybe. But just three Pacific areas. Well, actually, sorry, not three Pacific areas, but just three specific examples that I want to uh, once again just uh, run through so we are led to believe we are told that Ireland is a country of equality that everyone living in Ireland is equal and we have equal rights equal opportunity and Ireland is non uh, is a country of non-discrimination we're led to believe that and I'm, I do not, I do not believe that. I say equality, my ass. Let's look at once again. Let's look at the LGBTQ community. They have us believing that all of us are equal, regardless of our sexuality. That we should be proud of our sexuality, and nobody should be bullied because of our sexuality, and we should all celebrate our sexuality. And what I say to that is bullshit, because what about asexual people? People who do not have any sexual attractions to anybody. Imagine how hard that must be for somebody. They will get bullied, they will get discriminated against. Where is their rights? Why are they not included in the LGBTQ community? Where is their parade? Where is their celebration? And the same goes for heterosexuals. If you want to celebrate everybody's sexuality, then how about include everybody's sexuality and let everybody be proud of who they are? Okay? Now, also, if we're led to believe that we're an equal country, again, if you are in a large room with a lot of people and you publicly say that you are a supporter of Donald Trump, you will be nailed against. If you say that you are against abortion, full of women and feminists, you will be discriminated against. 
If you say that you are against gay marriage because of your religious views and your religious beliefs, you will be discriminated against. And again, one of the definitions of equality is non-discrimination. So where is the equality there? And as far as equal opportunities, equal opportunities are concerned, okay? Equal opportunities are concerned. You have corrupt bankers, businessmen, and politicians who are reeking of corruption. They are stealing money, stealing money, okay? Apple, this big massive company who we should never offend because they're so big. Apple owed Ireland millions, millions. The European Union brought this up. Apple owed Ireland millions in tax and they did not pay Ireland. And Ireland were like, oh, don't worry about it because they didn't want to annoy Apple because their European headquarters is in Ireland. That's an example of corruption. That's an example of greed. And we all know about the bankers in Ireland. We don't have to talk about them, but they've stolen plenty of money. All of these corrupt, um, twisted and sinister motherfuckers, right, were able to buy a third car, a fourth home, go on holidays, treat themselves, treat their families at the expense of others. Others like homeless men and women who were sleeping on the streets, cold streets. They're cold, they're hungry, they're dirty, they're unhealthy, they're run down. So you're telling me that those two people have equal opportunities? Really? We all know we live in a world where it's who you know, not what you know. We all know that. People who live in disadvantaged, disadvantaged areas don't have the same opportunities as people in well-off areas. We all know that. You know, 50 years ago, the LGBT community were saying gay people don't have the same rights as straight people. And they fought for those rights. They fought for the rights of gay people. And now they're part of society, which is great. But now we're in a situation where people living in disadvantaged areas don't have the same equal opportunities as people in not in, in well-off areas. So where is the equal opportunities there? So let me know what you think in the comment section below about equality in Ireland or equality in general, you know, across, across, the, bro across the board, across uh, the entire world. I don't see equality. I don't see true equality. I see equality for a certain group of people, for a certain community. I see equality for the LGBTQ community. I see equality for feminists. I see equality for atheists. I see equality, you know, for, um, for the, the lefties. Um, I see equality for all of those um, types of people. But I don't see a, I don't see equality for anybody else. And I've said why, and I've mentioned it, and I, I think that I would do this video more harm if I went on. I think I made my point very clear, and I think I, I, I personally am confident that I was able to back up my points uh, very well there. Um, I really do. I think freedom of speech is being attacked uh, i think censorship is 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 looming not looming censorship is taken over uh politically correct terms are taken over and i think a lot of people are just scared to speak their mind and you know fight for their beliefs and, and and fight for what they believe in and you know that's what i'm here to do uh with johnny talks and you know this video was titled equality my ears and i spoke about you know, equality in Ireland, and I don't believe that there is true equality in Ireland. Um, and I've, I've mentioned why. I don't. I can't add anything else to it. I've mentioned why. Um, I don't believe there's true equality. Because um, you know, equality is equal opportunities, equal rights, and non-discrimination. If you're going to get discriminated against for having a political view, a religious view, and a moral view, then that's not equality. If the corrupt banker and businessman can steal money and not pay a tax and buy a third and fourth car and a fifth home out in Spain, while somebody living in a disadvantaged area finds himself sleeping on a rough concrete floor, hungry, dirty and unhealthy, 
then that's not equal opportunities. Okay? It's just not. And... If an asexual, somebody who is not sexually attracted to anybody, is getting bullied in school, um, doesn't have his sexuality fought for or celebrated along with a heterosexual, while the LGBTQ community are celebrating their sexualities, then that's not, that is not equality, that is not equal rights and it's not equal uh, equal opportunity so it is my personal belief that I don't see equality in Ireland I mean if you're part of the LGBT community of course you're gonna feel as equality if you're a feminist of course you're gonna see equality if you're pro um, choice of course you're gonna see equality if you're um, if you are a supporter of Hillary Clinton of course you're gonna see uh, equality but everybody else are not going to see equality. And these are genuine people who can't attack somebody. I mean, are you going to attack an asexual? Are you going to attack heterosexuals for simply having their sexuality and, and feeling that they should have the right to have their sexuality celebrated and fought for? Are those people wrong? Somebody wrong for having a political view. Somebody wrong for having a religious view. I mean, I would, I would believe that having a religious view that marriage is sacred between a man and a woman. I would believe that's a lot less harmful than having a religious belief that blowing up thousands of innocent, pe innocent people in the name of Allah. I would believe that's a lot more dangerous than having a religious view that marriage is between a man and a woman. So is it wrong that someone has a religious view in terms of, you know, gay marriage? Is it wrong that a homeless man should be housed, clothed, fed, is that wrong? Am I wrong for saying those things? I don't think I am. So equality my ears. I don't see equality in this country and I've, I I need to start working and not repeating myself in my videos. So I think that's where I really cut it. Um, there, there never have been equality and never will be. Well, that's a pretty <laughs> negative way to look at it, I would say, Music Man. Uh, hopefully, you know, more people like me will speak up about this and we bring true equality uh, to Ireland and show the world. Um, but I don't see equality in this country and I've, I've, I've said my piece, I've said all I needed to say. Uh, if you disagree, let me know in the comment section below. If you agree, let me know. Um, just get interactive as possible. So I want to thank uh, Music Man, I want to thank DLA and I want to thank Aidan uh, Dennison for, uh, for watching episode 3 of Johnny Talks. Uh, so thank you for watching and goodbye.